hello from your favourite red-eyed YouTuber. I look like I've been doing some kind of experimental pink eyeshadow. Um, it doesn't actually look too bad in the viewfinder. Maybe this is a look. Anyway, welcome to this video, this spring outfits video that I hope will give you a little bit of inspiration for the seasonal shift that is about to happen. Um, I cannot wait and I cannot express how much I cannot wait for spring to arrive because I am so ready to ditch my coat. Not quite the knitwear because obviously spring here in England is a bit sporadic and you do still tend to need a bit of knitwear. But I'm hopeful in the next couple of weeks I can wave goodbye, like firmly wave goodbye to my big thick heavy coats until autumn. Fingers crossed, the clock's changing, I think two weeks I think it is. Or maybe it's next week. I can't, I can never remember when the clock's, maybe, maybe it's two weeks. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm excited for the garden to come back to life. I'm excited for the sky to just be brighter for longer, fingers crossed be bluer as well. I'm excited to just wear like different clothes, you know, like bring out some of my lighter pieces. I cannot wait. Um, every time the seasons start to shift, what I like to do is go through my wardrobe and kind of remind myself of the things that I like to wear and the pairings that I like to create and often we'll try and create new pairings so that my wardrobe feels kind of exciting again. And then what I will do is I will write down sort of like the favourite things that I've put together, favourite outfits that i created and use it as a reference tool for when I'm feeling a bit stuck because often I can wake up and be a bit like, oh, I've got nothing to wear, I don't know what to wear. So I can refer back to this list in my notebook and be like, oh, that's a great outfit, I'll wear that. So what I have tried to create in this video is I've picked kind of seven of my favourite outfits that I'm looking forward to wearing in spring and consolidated them all into one video. Um, so hopefully it'll be give you some inspiration. It's going to be quite short and snappy because I'm just going to narrate over the outfits and I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail. Um, this video is sponsored by Farfetch BTW. If you have been watching my videos for a while, or you, you know you watch my videos regularly, you will know that I work with Farfetch quite often. Um, I've been working with them for over a year now actually. Yeah, maybe even coming up to two years I think possibly. Um, and every time I work with Farfetch I can give you a discount code. So it's here on the screen. Um, but it also will be in the description box along with all the T's and C's and the expiration date and the links to all of the pieces that I'm wearing. Don't worry, this video won't feel overly sponsored. They they never do. What I do is I incorporate pieces from Farfetch within, like with pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. So it feels like quite a natural sponsorship at this point. Um, Farfetch is just great. I feel like I don't need to introduce Farfetch to you anymore. Um, but I just would like to take 10 seconds to just rave about how greater platform it is for finding just so many different designers and hard to find pieces. They now have vintage on there as well, new designers. There's always some like great bits hanging around in the sale as well. Um, so you can lose many, many hours on Farfetch. And if you've got something sat in your cart that you've been a bit unsure about, then obviously feel free to use my discount code. Um, so I think that is all for the introduction. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, outfit number one. When spring starts to arrive, I typically incorporate lighter tones into my outfit. So basically more cream, more white and more beige so that things feel a lot fresher. And I think this outfit perfectly encapsulates the first signs of spring. This would typically be an outfit that I would maybe wear when, you know, when you've got like the back doors open, you might sit in the garden for an hour or two having your lunch. This is that kind of outfit. I really like the contrast of a creamy tone against a white tone. I think it's a, it adds a bit more depth as opposed to a full white look, which can sometimes look quite stark. The texture of the knit also makes this outfit feel a little bit more dimensional. The knit is obviously more is for practical purposes because it's still a little bit chilly here at the start of UK spring. The pants are super thick like relaxed denim so you still get a bit of warmth from them and then my Birkenstocks which are such a classic when it comes to springtime because you kind of have half feet covered, half feet uncovered and honestly the comfort that these provide is completely unmatched in comparison to any other footwear. Outfit number two, no exaggeration, I have been living in this look recently. 
So this is a really good one for when I'm just kind of out and about running errands, want to be comfortable, want to feel relaxed, but maybe like a little bit put together. The jeans here are what I kind of want to focus on the most because they are cream. So there's something about cream and navy versus cream and white that feels a little bit more relaxed. Don't get me wrong, navy and white I absolutely love and you'll see that in the next look. But for a slightly, I guess, um, more relaxed sort of casual pairing i think cream and navy is really nice and who knew that pistachio green and navy were so complimentary we've got the burks on again because well they don't really need much raving about they're so damn comfortable but yeah um and the blazer here it kind of just makes it feel a little bit smarter because we all know that i can't do fully fully casual i always like to have a small smart element within my outfit somewhere but yeah absolutely love this navy cream and pistachio green what a combo outfit number three so this is kind of a smarter take on the previous look see what i mean about the white against the navy it's sharper it's crisper it feels a little bit punchier and a little bit smarter i absolutely love it i cannot wait to wear this full look everything about it i love the brown i love the navy i love the white i love the green the sandals are wicked i think did i really just say wicked <laughs> i think the green bag kind of creates it kind of just adds a little bit of a contemporary a bit of interest to it because there are some very classic elements here you know the navy blazer the white pants it could be borderline sort of like classic old man kind of look but i think i've managed to just claw it back a little bit yep absolutely love this look just imagine it with a pair of like tortoiseshell ray-bans um and yeah, good to go. I think this is going to be a very, very um, heavily repeated look this spring. Outfit number four. I think in terms of the proportion and the silhouette, this outfit won't be to everyone's taste. But I think most of us all know by now that I don't particularly dress to flatter my body. Um, I like big boxy silhouettes. And looking at this now, actually, I love how large and oversized and slouchy the jeans look in contrast to the small loafers and the slim fitting t-shirt. Um, I have become a little bit hyper fixated on neck scarves, I must admit. They are a great way to transform what could potentially be quite a simple outfit. I know this is nothing new, but it is a kind of new accessory that I've started playing around with in my wardrobe. Um, this is me adding a leather jacket. You'll see what I mean here about the big boxy silhouettes, kind of just creating one big boxy shape but i don't mind that i really love the neck scarf with the leather jacket i think this is um a, a chic interesting take on a black and white look here's me just showing you a little bit of the jean detail because they've got a sort of fold uh detail at the waist which makes them look extra sort of oversized and baggy um yeah i really like this look i feel it's a little bit different to my usual style but um, it still feels quite me. I think it just feels like um, a slightly more fashion-y version of me, if that makes sense. Outfit number five. I think I'm entering a green phase. I was going through a blue phase, which I still absolutely love, but I'm feeling a bit of green is coming into the wardrobe increasingly at the moment. This outfit is like my kind of grey grayish cloudy spring day outfit you know when the weather's just a bit meh and you just want some light layers that you can easily remove and add depending on what happens with the weather um it's a very simple kind of basic look um but i think the the green on green kind of just makes it a little bit more interesting and i've added the tabby boots which i think is always a nice subtle um kind of point of interest and could probably add a neck scarf maybe not sure could work but yeah this is me just faffing around a little bit putting my hands in my pockets um just what else can i say good cardigan some nice straight black jeans a mid-heeled boot uh good to go
outfit number six. Okay, I'm moving into fancy territory here. Maybe even getting a bit ahead of myself and this might be something a bit more suited to summer. Let's imagine I'm looking more sun-kissed. I've got a tan. I've done a better bun. This could be a really nice evening look, I think. It's all black, but it's all about the textures here, the shapes, the silhouettes, I think, and the accessories. Um, I've paired this very nice uh, boxy bag with the look and inside I'll show you a, a lovely little accessory oh cute cute a little croissant um, anyway accessories aside this look is the top is actually like a wool cashmere blend vest it is a bit risque you've got the deep V and the side arm holes are very deep so maybe this might be a top that benefits from a bandeau or just a little bit of tape just to keep it in place looking at it now i also think this would look beautiful with some white trousers or some beige trousers um but just uh, for the sake of this video i decided to do a full black look with a really simple barely there sandal and some gold statement earrings um i did actually wear a kind of beige white variation of this on holiday last year for an evening meal and did feel very chic in it. And then for my final look, look number seven, I think we can all agree this is a much more spring appropriate evening look um, as opposed to the previous look. This blazer is absolutely gorgeous. It's showing up blue on camera, but IRL it's more of a green tone. So it complements the brown accessories really, really nicely. The blazer is, mostly made up of cotton so it holds its structure really nicely it has that sort of like crinkly paper feel to it which is a really nice change from all of the wool blazers that a lot of us have been wearing over autumn winter and a lot more practical for spring summer it's just such like texturally it's such a satisfying blazer to wear i've just popped a black t-shirt and some slouchy trousers underneath kept it super simple to let the blazer and the accessories do the the um do the hard work. I know matching accessories is a bit of a faux pas sometimes, but I don't mind it done very subtly. You can't really see it here because I framed this so badly, but the shoes are actually brown as well. They're a really simple uh, sandal um, in the same shade of brown as the belt and the bag. Um, but yeah, I think this would also actually be a really good, so it's a good evening one, but I actually think it would work quite well for like meet, like day meetings, could just maybe swap the shoe for something closed toe. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these seven looks and I can't wait to wear these seven looks outside in real life. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.